Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. The Zyconic Custard Tart has a crispy pastry crust, holding an aromatic soft, sweet, and custardy, filling with a caramelized top. Once you've tried this vegan version, it will leave you wanting more. Vegan New Year Special from Portugal Part 2 of 2 Vegan Pastel de Nata or Custard Tarts Continue watching to find out more No to Vegan Accelerate to Hell Feliz Ano Novo Vegano, which means Happy Vegan New Year in Portuguese. I am Talia. We are delighted that you celebrate your new year and special occasions by providing vegan meals for your guests. What an excellent way of sharing your festivity and your compassion for the animal people through your wise and noble actions. May God bless you in abundance. Welcome to our show, Vegan New Year Special from Portugal, part 2 of 2, Vegan Pastel de Nata, or Custard Tarts. Portugal is in southwestern Europe, on the Iberian Peninsula. It is the first country in the world to have passed a law in 2017 that obligates all public institutions including government offices, hospitals, schools, etc., to offer at least one vegan option on their eatery menus. This law has made vegan options more readily available and encouraged restaurants to respond positively to this wise decision, with travelers delighted in the growing number of vegan options. Today we are pleased to share with you an irresistible vegan custard tart recipe called Pastel de Nata in Portuguese. Make them in the comfort of your home and enjoy them with friends and family this vegan new year. This dish originated in Portugal about 300 years ago and became Portugal's popular national dessert. Its flaky crust filled with creamy custard and cinnamon topping is also a popular treat worldwide. There are two main elements to making this delicious tart. The first part is the flaky vegan pastry crust, and the second part is the creamy, sweet vegan custard filling. Let's make the pastry first. Add 120 grams of sifted all-purpose flour into a mixing bowl. Then add 84 milliliters of water and a pinch of salt. Mix well until you can form a dough. Then cover the dough with a piece of cloth and let it rest. After 15 minutes, we will hand knead the dough. Dust the kneading surface with some flour so that the dough will not stick to it. Knead by hand using the folding method. If the dough becomes sticky, dust some more flour. When the dough is not that sticky, wrap it in a piece of unbleached baking paper, flatten and form it into an even square shape. Use the rolling pin to gently press the dough so that it evenly fills all four corners. Then add 
then leave it to rest. After 15 minutes, remove the pastry from the baking paper. Dust some flour on the kneading board. We will roll the dough to make it thinner and larger. Today we will use 72 grams of vegan butter, which we will spread on the dough in three separate batches. For the first batch, we will use 20 grams of vegan butter. Using a spatula, drop dollops of the vegan butter, spacing them evenly across two-thirds of the flattened dough. Use a brush to spread out the vegan butter evenly, but do not go beyond the edges of the dough. Fold the dough in two thirds, wrap it in the baking paper and place it in the freezer. The duration may differ depending on your freezer. It has been in our freezer for 30 minutes. Unwrap it and dust some flour on the kneading board. Gently press the dough with the rolling pin and then rotate it so that the long side lies horizontally. Continue to press the dough with the rolling pin and then flatten the dough. Once the dough is flat to the desired thickness, apply 20 grams of the vegan butter in dollops. Brush them to cover two-thirds of it. Fold in three and wrap the dough in baking paper. Place it in the freezer for another 30 minutes. After the dough is frozen for the second time, remove it from the freezer and dust some flour on the kneading board. Gently press it with the rolling pin. Rotate the dough and gently press it again. Then, with the long side placed vertically, roll it out a little. Then, rotate the dough once again and start rolling the rolling pin back and forth until the dough is thinner and becomes an elongated rectangle. We are now ready to apply the remaining 32 grams of vegan butter to the dough. This time, we will place the dollops of vegan butter all over the dough, except for the top edge. Brush the vegan butter to spread evenly. Then gently roll the dough from bottom to top and dab some water on the top edge to hold the rolled dough in place. Wrap the rolled dough in unbleached baking paper and leave it in the freezer for one hour. After one hour, move it to the refrigerator for another hour. Meanwhile, we preheat the oven for at least 40 minutes so that it reaches the required temperature of 250 degrees Celsius or 482 degrees Fahrenheit. This high temperature will make the crust crispy. Vegan, because we can't be a killer. Wise viewers, we will pause for a moment to thank our noble canine co-workers who assist people with disabilities, give emotional support to sick and injured people, help police and law enforcement personnel, and serve in search and rescue efforts. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We will be right back. Welcome back to our show, Vegan New Year Special from Portugal, part two of two, Vegan Pastel de Nata or Custard Tarts. We will continue with the second part of the process, which is making the creamy vegan custard filling. We will now make lemon cinnamon syrup for the custard 
to give it extra flavor. We have a pot on the stove. Add 120 milliliters of water to it, followed by 120 grams of vegan sugar, about 15 grams of cinnamon sticks, and 40 grams of fresh lemon peel. Turn on the stove to medium-low heat, constantly stirring while simmering. If you prefer a stronger cinnamon flavor, you can add more cinnamon sticks. When the lemon peel turns translucent, remove them from the pot together with the cinnamon sticks. The aroma is simply heavenly. Continue to simmer at low heat until the syrup thickens and has reduced to about 115 milliliters. Turn off the heat and leave the syrup aside to cool. Next, we will prepare the vegan custard filling. Add 288 milliliters of soy milk to another pot, then 24 grams of deodorized virgin coconut oil, 15 grams of corn starch, and 13 grams of low gluten flour. Mix well and turn on the stove to low heat. Continue stirring the mixture to prevent sticking to the bottom of the pot. When the mixture starts to boil and thickens, add the lemon cinnamon syrup we prepared earlier. For a more vibrant color, we add a pinch of turmeric powder to the mixture. Stir vigorously until the ingredients are well incorporated and the vegan custard has thickened to the desired consistency. Our vegan custard filling is now ready. Turn off the stove and set the custard aside to cool. This dough roll we made earlier has been in the refrigerator for an hour. So unwrap and cut it into eight equal portions, since we will make eight tarts. Now we shape the crusts with our fingers. Be mindful that the thickness of the crust is important. If the crust is too thin, the custard filling will soak through. And if it is too thick, this can affect the taste of the tarts. Our tart crusts are now ready. Make sure that the vegan custard filling is completely cool, then place the custard into a piping bag. Pipe the filling into each pastry crust up to 90%. This is because the pastry crust expands as it cooks so too much filling will cause it to overflow. Our vegan custard tarts are ready for baking. Place them in the preheated oven to bake for 10 minutes. Then change the lower heat to 230 degrees Celsius or 445 degrees Fahrenheit for another 8 to 9 minutes. Our deliciously fragrant and freshly baked vegan Portuguese custard tarts just came out of the oven and have cooled slightly, so now we remove them from the molds.
Place these lovely baked custard tarts on a serving plate. They are the perfect treat that you will enjoy in the company of friends with your favorite cup of coffee or tea. Ingredients For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the flaky vegan pastry crust dough, the ingredients are 120 grams of all-purpose flour, 84 milliliters of water, a pinch of salt, 72 grams of vegan butter. For the vegan custard filling, the ingredients are 288 milliliters of soya milk, 24 grams of deodorized virgin coconut oil, 15 grams of corn starch, 13 grams of low gluten flour, a pinch of turmeric powder, 115 milliliters lemon cinnamon syrup. For the lemon cinnamon syrup, the ingredients are 120 grams of vegan sugar, 120 milliliters of water, 40 grams of lemon peel, 15 grams of cinnamon stick. We learned that milk, eggs, meat, and all animal-based products coming from factories come to us by the means of violating many serious Torah commandments, and therefore, these items have a status of being forbidden to purchase. The Reverend Rabbi Asa Kesar, vegan. Cherished viewers, thank you for your company on our special Vegan New Year show from Portugal today. It has been our pleasure to have this opportunity to share this delicious vegan Portuguese custard tarts treat with you. Up next is Purify Yourself and Worship Only God, part one of three, on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. We wish you a happy vegan new year and pray that you will be forever safe and protected in God's grace. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. For free international vegan recipes and for language availability, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash veg and suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Pour des recettes véganes internationales gratuites et voir les langues disponibles, veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique VEG et suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule. Para recetas veganas internacionales gratuitas y para disponibilidad de idiomas, visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada VEG y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Kostenlose internationale vegane recepte und verfügbare sprachen Finden Sie unter suprememastertv.com-veg und suprememastertv.com-schedule.